Forgiveness is the spiritual theme of the month. We're reading, thinking, and sharing with one another about forgiveness. We're practicing engaging in forgiveness in our own lives. I know I'm not alone in that a number of times when I've had to make amends and say I'm sorry and change my behavior with somebody who I've committed a wrong against, I've struggled with finding the strength to do that. What I'm asking people to think about this month is what are the stories you know about which give you strength to engage in forgiveness? In my ministry, I've been fortunate to witness many people engage in forgiveness. And when this topic comes up, I always think about a young man named Anthony who I ministered to in maximum security jail as he was awaiting trial for murder. Anthony had killed his very best friend. We would sit together and talk and time and time again Anthony would say how he would do anything he could to go back in time and erase that terrible night and the mistakes he had made. But he knew he could not. He had to face the reality of what had happened. And as he was preparing for his day in trial, he asked if I would accompany him in support. I said yes. And on the day of the trial, I got there a little early. There was nobody in the seating area yet. I sat up front. And soon after a woman arrived, I thought for some reason she was Anthony's mother. So I approached her and introduced myself and asked her if she was Anthony's mother. She said, no, I'm the mother of Marcus, the young man who was killed. I was taken aback and gave her my heartfelt condolences. And then I went back to my seat. In a little bit, another group came in and the woman who I had met said, hey Rev, that's Anthony's wife. So I came back and introduced myself to her, offered my condolences for the terrible situation she was in and offered any assistance I could give. Then I noticed they sat together and I went back to my place. Soon thereafter I couldn't really believe what I was hearing because these two women, the mother of the young man who had been killed and the wife of the young man who had done the killing, were talking openly, heartfelt condolences for each other talking about healing and moving forward. They both said that they knew roles could have been reversed. Either one of them could have been in the family of the victim. Either one of them could have been in the family of the perpetrator. The, the two young men had been friends forever. Their friendship had had many highlights and many rock bottoms. But here they were, and they wanted to help each other heal and find hope for moving together forward in the living of their lives. The trial was brutal. We heard stories of alcohol and fighting. Eventually, Anthony was convicted of second degree murder. After that, we all had heavy, heavy hearts. And the families and I were talking and they invited me back to their neighborhood to go to one of the homes to have a prayer vigil where both families were gonna be together. So we went there and prayed for healing and hope and strength for everybody involved. We prayed for the young children who had lost a father to death and the young children who had lost a father to jail. And whenever I am struggling now with my own uh, issues of needing to say amends to someone and change my behavior and do better and I'm struggling, not knowing how to get over the obstacle, think back to the families of Marcus and Anthony. And those memories give me wellsprings of hope, courage, and love. What are the stories you know of which give you strength to engage in forgiveness?